Today we're going to be using Autodesk Inventor to design a bridge. Now, to begin with, you're going to want to create a project folder. So we're just going to click on the Projects tab and we're going to choose New. We're going to use a new single user project. We're going to call this project name Bridge. And the purpose of this is to create a folder in which all of our bridge members and our drawings and everything are going to be in the same folder. So when Autodesk goes to look for the design in um, the assembly or in to create an actual technical drawing, it's going to know where to find all of those parts. So we've created our bridge project. We've got it selected. And we're going to start with a new part. When we start a new part, we're going to choose a 2D sketch. And we're going to do this in the XY plane, which is the plane that we're familiar with in our mathematical graphing that we've been doing. So we're going to go here and we're just going to draw a horizontal line. Do not draw it on the, the line of origin. Just draw it out here in space. And when we draw this line, we're going to draw it to 11 and 7 eighths of an inch, which is 11.875. And the reason that we're doing that is so that um, when we actually do our assembly, it's going to place bridge member pieces that are an eighth of an inch wide on the center of all our lines. Well, because it's placing those on the center, we've got to add a sixteenth of an inch to both sides of this line to make it the full length of our bridge. And since our bridge needs to be 12 inches long, we're going to actually design it to be 11.875. Now, we're going to move this line down to our point of origin by using this tool right here. This is the Coincident Constraint tool, and we're going to go and select the midpoint of that line. You'll notice that it highlights in green when we um, have our mouse over the midpoint. So we click on that, and then we click over the point of origin, and it moves our line down so that we have our midpoint of our line in the point of origin, which is on zero for both the Y and the X axis. And this is going to be helpful when we go to do our um, assemblies and our technical drawings later on. And we're going to use our Zoom All tool to move that so we can see the entire line. Now, this bridge has to have its own support system for vehicles to pass underneath it. Well, the vehicles that pass underneath it are three inches tall. So we've got to make our bridge just a little bit taller than that. So we're going to go with three and a quarter inch, which is 3.25. And then we also need to make this 1.875 because our total span of our bridge has to be 8 inches. And if you remember, we've got to consider that that's on the line center and that we're adding a 16th of an inch to both sides of the line. And so we've got to take that into account. So that'll be important when we um, go to plug that in later. Here again, we're going to do the same thing over on this side. I need to slide my drawing over just a little bit. We're going to draw a line down and it should automatically snap to 3.25 because I have my line drawn over on this side. And then I simply plug in the length of the line for the support piece. And then I'm going to draw it back up to the roadbed of our bridge. Now, um, I'm also going to, at this time, draw a 3-inch by 3-inch box underneath the bridge, which represents the vehicles that are passing underneath it. And the reason I'm doing this is this is just simply going to help me um, get the geometry of our bridge um, correct. So I want to just draw this, and I'm going to delete this later, but it's just showing you um, where our clearance has to be in order to meet the rules of our um, bridge design. So here we are. We have our bridge design. We're going to zoom out just a little bit, and we're going to move this down just a little bit so that we can draw our superstructure. So our superstructure has to enable a vehicle to pass over the top, and that vehicle has a maximum height of 2 inches. So we're going to go about... 2.25 inches high. We could go a little bit higher if we wanted to, um, but we're just going to do 2.25. I'm going to take this over to here to where it snaps over that line and 
basically we're drawing a bridge um, almost in the simplest sense using dot to dot. So once we have our outside geometry done, then we can go back in and figure out how we want to support this. Um, so we might say, hey, I'm going to go here to the midpoint of this line and draw a, a, a diagonal line to where this joint is, and I'm going to connect that. And so because I'm doing a symmetrical bridge, I'm going to go over here and I'm going to find the midpoint of this line. I might need to zoom in to find that. And then when I find that line, there's that midpoint. It turns green when I find that midpoint. And then I find the green dot, which is the center of that joint. I now have um, created an extra support there. Now the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to create some diagonal supports. Now I know from this distance to this distance over here, it needs to be 8 inches. But I can have a support piece going diagonal as long as it doesn't interfere with this 3 inch box. So I'm going to take this support piece and I'm going to go all the way up to where it intersects with the midpoint of our top of our superstructure. And I'm going to see that it's 53.55 degrees. So I'm going to hit the tab key, which forces it over to the angle that I'm defining. And then when I hit tab again, it allows me to keep that angle and then I simply go until I reach that bridge deck. And where it reaches the bridge deck, I'm going to click on my mouse. And then I'm going to click it up here. And it should be a perfect straight line going all the way from the base of my bridge all the way up to my superstructure. Then I'm going to do the same thing over here. So I'm going to basically find the midpoint on that joint. I can see that the angle is 126.45 degrees. So I'm going to hit tab, 126. 0.45 degrees. I hit tab again and it locks that angle in place. And then I simply go and find where the roadbed is. And then I go from that roadbed up to the top. And then from here, I can again go find a midpoint of this and link it to that joint. I can also strengthen up my bridge supports. If you do make a mistake, you can always hit the escape key and hit control Z. But we're going to go and add some supports um, on the substructure of this bridge. And I'm simply going to try to shortcut this as quick as possible so that we can finish designing it. And then we can get to the assembly component. So we're just going to do a very simple superstructure at the top. It's going to be a very simple um, truss and then the substructure is relatively simple. I've got to add a little bit more to make it symmetrical and after I'm done with this I'm going to hit the escape key so I'm no longer drawing and I can delete that three inch by three inch box that's underneath it. And then the other thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to delete the reference of that angle. Since it's already locked in at that joint, I don't need to have that angle. If I leave it there, it's going to try to draw a bridge member there. But this is our basic bridge design. We're going to choose Finish Sketch. We're going to zoom out, and we can see a perspective view of that bridge sketch. And that is going to be our temporary bridge that we're designing for today.